Hi, today's video will not be directly related to retro computers, but this is uh, my way to take a little bit of break from programming and there is nothing better than soldering of a bunch of LEDs on PCB. So as you can see, what I'm trying to do here is uh, make a sign, a C64 sign made of LEDs. And the way I want to do this is um, as quickly as possible and with fewer parts as possibly can. So uh, this will be more of a hack than a proper electronics project. So let's begin. So here's the plan. I want to power this board with a 5 volts DC and I will try to avoid uh, using uh, resistors. Um, so um, the way I plan to connect each of these LEDs will uh, have to meet some adjustments so that uh, each of these LEDs can be powered with 5 volts. Um, so let's begin. So this is how I plan to do this. So we have red LEDs and they have a um, voltage drop around 1.8 volts and we have yellow uh, and they have a voltage drop around 2.2 volts. So, uh, so to connect red LEDs to 5 volts DC of course we need um, three of these, so three times 1.8 volts, and this will give us around 5.4 volts, and that's fine. That's great. Uh, so the red LEDs won't shine as much, but that's fine. It's just a sign. So that's the red ones. Now the yellow yellow ones also 5 volts DC same power supply so we have 2.2 that's uh, 2 times 2.2 volts we cannot go um, over if, if we use 3 um, it will be too much over 5 volts and they won't shine so we need we can only connect 2 in series so this will give us 4.4 uh, volts and for this we need to add resistance, so we need the resistor, uh, additional resistor to connect them to 5 volts, so this is the plan. And let's see about schematic. So we have um, 5 volts DC have plus side, negative side, and we have our leads. So for red LEDs, we said that we are going to connect three of them in series. Like this. And then the rest of them, so this um, uh, series of three will connect um, in parallel. So this is um, the idea, okay? So we need a group of three and so on. So these are the red ones. Now the yellow. Like we said, we need two of these. Plus a resistor. So it's a little bit different. and so on and so on in parallel okay so this is the idea and of course because um, like I said I will try to avoid using these resistors and um, because there is not many um, uh, this yellow LEDs perhaps I can replace all of these resistors with one, with one or two um, resistors that will um, that will at, we, at which I will connect all of these lines. So we will see, um, is that going to be possible? Because if I overdone it, um, there will be um, 
too much uh, power on this uh, resistor and we will get um, uh, uh, too much heat um, um, on this resistor so we will have to be a bit more careful and this is it and um, the other problem that we have so for red LEDs we have to pair, in, pair it in, in, make a group of three so um, here's the little bit of problem number six this is digit six uh, is divisible by three that's fine so we can connect them three by three uh, number four not so much it's not divisible by three so when we group a three by three then we have a left uh, one uh, LED is going to be left behind and I will try to um, use a technique to power it as well so the same uh, situation is on letter C when we make a pair of two uh, the one will going to be left alone so I'm going to use same technique uh, for each of them uh, both of them so that I can um, make them work and again I will try to avoid using um, resistors if, if it's going to be possible so this is it it's time to uh, solder everything so I um, just a quick uh, notice I did um, solder these LEDs just to stay on PCB to not drop out just one one leg and I left all the leads uh, I didn't cut them because I'm going to use them to uh, connect and try to use them wherever I can to connect one or two uh, or three together and also one important thing uh, is the way I place the LEDs on the PCB I always use the same direction so the positive lead is on top the negative lead is on the bottom that will make us make a little bit easier to build this hmm. okay let's begin
So this is it. I'm done. Um, I tried to match uh, for the yellow LEDs and the red ones to a lead equally, to shine equally, but <clears throat> I don't have um, uh, correct resistors to tune it up perfectly. So the C is just a little bit brighter than it should be. But um, what I want to show you is this. This is how I solve um, with additional LEDs, this I, uh, how I solved the problem so that we are, um, have an uh, unequal number of LEDs. So this C number, uh, C letter was not divisible by two, so this LED was left alone. So what I did, I add additional LED uh, at the back. Same goes with, I believe, this one. <coughs> was uh, left alone so what I was uh, it was missing two additional LEDs I place it and in, in behind <clears throat> so why did I, did I use just uh, resistors well first of all I don't have um, correct resistors to tune up to um, be exact value to shine exactly like yet the other ones and secondly uh, with this uh, method uh, I get exactly um, the same <coughs> uh, voltage drop on each uh, LED and exactly the same um, uh, effect will be on all of this and what I will do with these uh, three LEDs uh, is I will use some electrical tape and I will place it into dark so they are not shining. That's it. So the light won't be visible. And the problem is solved. So here we go. Uh, I don't believe that this red one would even be visible, but never mind. So, here we go. Just one more time. There we go. Until I find the suitable enclosure for this, um, I plan to just put it right around here. I don't know if you can see this, but I will try to tilt a little. Just one moment. There we go. Ah, much better. So what we have on the wall is C64C and this right here or something like here or something like that. So that was it. This is all for today's uh, little uh, DIY hack. <laughs> This is how it looked like on the back. Um, so this is all for today. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Mm. Until then, goodbye.